Hello Digworld! Today we are going to talk about something really crazy, which isn't me, but this thing here. So I'm going to talk about another man's ditch, another maker's ditch. And I know it sounds weird that a um, maker talks about other maker, uh, probably it's the first time you've ever seen it. And whenever you uh, see someone on YouTube talking about other people's digits, you can ask yourself, what is their motivation? Did they either get their dish for free? Nope. Uh, do they have some percentage in the sales? Nope. So why would I talk about another man's dish? Well, because I like the man and because I like the digits. So these digits are very special. They can play on both sides. So this side and this side, you decide how you play it, where you play it. And they are called dual digits. They are made by Master Lukas Pilnai from Czech Republic. And he's been my friend for around 20 years. And I think he has amazing playing. Uh, like one of the best albums that this album for me is made by him. Uh, it's called Cops Loin by Deshina Trio, where he plays uh, the Dej, of course, and some other instruments. Um, but also his music and Dej's aren't that well known in the Dej world. And when Lukas came to the first masterclass, everybody was blown away by his performance and his style. He really has something special, you know, that groovy feeling of uh, the seductive shaman that starts talking to you and you end up on another plane somewhere deep down in cosmos. And the digits are like that, of course, as well, because form follows function. And these digits actually started as a joke, as a joke by Lukas, you know, as a travel dig, semi joke, but it turned out to be way better and more loved than Lukas initially planned. So he started making them. And I'm here to give them a little bit more of voice of attention uh, and show why I feel they are worth your, well, time and money, basically. So um, the principle is very similar. You have a ditch which has a mouthpiece on this side and a mouthpiece on this side, but they play very differently. So let's start with the smallest guy here, this guy. So it comes uh, in um, a leather bag, which has like this two cups. And this is a carrying case. Um, you lock it somewhere here, right? You take it off, put it on your shoulder, you take it off and you're ready to go. Um, the wood is burnt, I think both inside and outside. And there are some beautiful pieces made by uh, fractal wood burning, which are sometimes painted inside. There is the sign of uh, Master Lukas Pilnai, LP. And the most incredible thing isn't how it looks, though looks is a big part of it, but actually how it plays. So this is the high side. This is the low side. It's interesting to take a look at another perspective by, for example, playing air code. Then we come to the next bigger sibling. So this one is a bigger type of the dual ditch and um, it has black leather caps for carrying. And it has actually a very beautiful um, appearance. It's carved and burnt and has fractal wood burning. So this one, I really love to touch as well. Um, but playing is what it's all about, so let's try it. So this is the high side. And this 
this is the deep side. The toots can be placed quite oddly, especially on the deep side, but they're playable. Some of them, at least, you know, one toot you will get, but mostly on the high side rather than the deep side. And with all um, dual digits, it's uh, really, how to say, a uh, very special harmonic structure. And um, the feeling of playing the low note. <laughs> is remarkably similar to playing the regular long ditch at a low note. Um, however, it's really um, doubling its value, not just by a double mouthpiece, but also how special the air code is. So you will have this strong Udu kind of wobble, uh, this unusual sustain in of the intrinsic resonances, um, this color is very, very unique and very special, um, very uh, typical for dual edges. So this is the high side again. And the deep side. And um, now we take a look at the deepest dual ditch. It was called Octavian the second until it um, was renamed to Septimian the first. Um, you will understand why. So the high side is a lot of this uh, Yidaki type of high pressure, um, mid focused uh, frequencies, very tight. Um, not with not bassy, not punchy, but uh, like uh, distorted guitars kind of feeling. Here in this uh, drum sounds, um, you can hear this very, very special uh, glassy kind of echo, right? And I'm not sure how many digits in my life I heard that have the same quality, mm, and probably all of them had some closure in the bell. Listen again. The other side, the dark side, is really dark. It is particularly uh, reminiscent of this um, air swallowing black holes that some dishes are, and it's a great training tool. So these two um, dishes are as far apart as possible, you know, literally and uh, in the feeling of playing. So both through the note, through the position, and through the feeling of playing, they are antipodal.
So in short, that's about it. It's hard to get into depth um, with issues because for each one to dissect properly, we would need like half an hour. But I hope you get an idea what these digits are all about. I feel they are a great um, addition to any collection, something really special, something really fun, something to move uh, your thinking. And also you can know that besides these um, horrifying experiments, um, Lukash also makes uh, really high-end, beautiful digits, which you can find on his website. And he makes some interesting accessories like dig stands, similar to mine, but also the dig lander. This box uh, contains the dig stand. Um, disclaimer, I got this as a gift, but uh, the digits are just for showing off. So more about this, you can find out on his website. I will link in the description everything. Thanks for watching. Spiral out and keep digging.